fell on the Lake of Galilee. Earlier, Jesus and his disciples had given bread and fish to the crowds who gathered to hear from Jesus. Weary from the day's work, the disciples had collected the leftover food. A wind began to blow. Jesus told his disciples to head for the boat and go on ahead of him to the other side of the lake where he would join them later. The disciples did as they were told. Out on the lake, they looked back and saw the crowd on the shore getting smaller. The hustle and bustle of people fell away. All they heard was the splashing of water and the silence of night. Jesus had sent the crowd of people back to their homes. He longed for some quiet, so he went up on a mountainside to be alone and pray. disciples were in the middle of the lake by now, their boat bobbing on the waves. The wind was against them as waves beat against the boat. Time ticked away. Shortly before dawn, one of the disciples thought he saw someone walking on the water. The men panicked. A ghost! A ghost! They cried out in fear. Jesus spoke calmly to the terrified men. Take courage, it is I, don't be afraid. One disciple, Peter, said, Lord, if it is really you, tell me to come to you on the water. Jesus said, come. Peter got out of the boat. The wind was blowing harder than it had during the night and Peter was suddenly overcome with fear. Lord, save me, he cried out as he began to sink. Without a moment's hesitation, Jesus reached out his hand and firmly took hold of Peter. Peter, why did you doubt? Your faith is so small, he said. When Jesus and Peter climbed into the boat with the others, the wind died down. Amazed by what they had seen, the disciples knelt down before Jesus and said, Truly, you are the Son of God. <laughs>